Hello everyone. A uh, couple of little things here. Um, a friend of mine came over the other day and bought over a couple of these. They're Marine Band Deluxe. And he wasn't very impressed with them at all. Cost here is £33, which is about $50. And they're supposed to be the Marine Band with all the faults ironed out. Um, you can see that they've opened the back of the cover plates. The cover plates are held down with four bolts. There are three bolts. You can see them there. One, two, three. Holding the reed plates down together to the cone. No bolts through the tines at the front. Now, one of the big problems with the marine band has always been the, the, the cone isn't very uh, waterproof, let's say, and they distort. And the interesting thing is, a week or so ago, I started reading on uh, the Modern Blitz Harmonica Forum on the Adam Gusso's website that uh, people were starting to have problems with them, that uh, the, the tines were protruding above reed plates, all the normal owner marine band cone problems. Now, the guy who bought these over is a guy called John O'Leary, who some of you have been around a long time might remember from Savoy Brown about 40 years ago, who was the high up and in. Lovely bloke, John, known him a long time, great player, good fun, good gentleman. Um, but John, John wasn't happy at all. He gets very frustrated that uh, harmonicas blow out so, so quickly. He's, he's quite a heavy player. But. Um, he came over and we tried a few harps and this, that and the other. But two of, the, two of these uh, deluxes he brought over were shot, the reed was shot. But I, I said what I'd read about them, you know, about the cones. So anyway, I stripped one down and this is the owner's idea of a sealed cone. Around the edges, ends of the tines and down through the tines. Now having said, you know, this is owner's idea, also Herring's idea because he also brought over a Herring 1923 reflex like like slate. The thing, the interesting thing this is, is exactly what it was like when I took the cut off. The screws are all undone. <laughs> the screws are all undone. And although this has got two, four, five through screws through the replay, still there are none at the front. So I, I, I'm amazed that. Uh, Honers and Herring set a machine up to spray in between the tines but not the rest of the body. And the thing is you can see on the tines where they're marked that moisture's getting through. If you look where the bolts are for the ends and at the back where there are bolts there's no, no moisture getting through but you can see on the reeds themselves that moisture's getting through. It's um, it's not sealed well enough. Now, what I can't understand, I mean, just uh, just quickly on that, that is a sealed cone. The whole thing is sealed. I mean, this one's got to be flat if you just have the tines drawn and can go back together. But that's a, that's how that's how I see the cone. And how everybody who works on harps that I've ever seen seals a cone. They seal the whole thing. The whole thing is sealed. There's, there's nowhere that the moisture can get into the wood. On the MS cones, they're, they're totally sealed. They're, there's no, no parts of the comb on an MS hole that are hard sealed. And if they can do it on that comb, why can't they do it on the marine band comb? I, I'm just at a loss to, to understand. I mean, Hona, uh, Harmonica and Hona, they're two words that go together. It's like salt and vinegar, fish and chips. It's uh, that they've got such brand recognition, and I can't understand how they seem to be wanting to cut corners. They've uh, they've opened the back of the cover plates. They put bolts through, but if they wanted to truly build a, a harp that was as good, as well constructed as the customizers do. They'd have gone two steps further. They'd have put the bolts down through the front of the tine. And they'd have sealed the whole of the comb. It's, it's, it's beyond me. I don't understand. 
And as I say, that I mean, this if if every time you said car you thought of uh, I don't know Jaguar or Ford or, or you when you said the word car you automatically put a manufacturer's name with it in your mind. That's something that money can't buy, and I'm staggered that Honor haven't gone that extra couple of yards and done the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm at a loss to explain it. There must be a reason. If you buy uh, an MS harp, I'm not a lover of MS at all. I mean, you can get them to play well, but it takes a hell of a lot of work to do. But on their plastic comb harps, i.e. the pro harp, there is a, a screw through the front of the replay down through the tie. Um, yet, on a more expensive harmonica, it's supposed to be the top of the range of the, of, the, of the marine band, there are no bolts through the front. I don't understand why. And the comb isn't sealed. It's sealed in part. Herring are guilty as well, although they do put more bolts through the, through the replates, but not, in my opinion, where they're needed through the front to clamp it down. The idea of totally sealing the cone is that you can now flat it on a piece of glass and get it 100% flat. If you end up with any shiny bits after you flat it, they're low. What we'd have to do is re-lacquer. So pain in the arse takes time. But in a factory, I'm sure they could do it so it doesn't. What can I say? It, 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 it's, a, it's a very strange situation. The reeds are blown out very quickly. Um, so there's no longer. I mean, I think these. I think John said these were about three or four months old. But while he was over here, he um, he tried a couple of harps I'd done, and uh, one of them was a marine band. Now, I don't know what year it was made. It was an old one I had. But when I went to emboss it. Uh, it took so little embossing, it was untrue. It, it didn't look like it had been done before. There were no marks um, around the slots to show it had been embossed before. Well, the thing set up unbelievably well. Now, I know a lot of customizers. If you look at their sites on YouTube, and they say that they, they order old stock from Hona. Now, the thing is, I don't know what's good old stock and what's bad old stock. But uh, this particular marine band, I did, John played it and said he never played anything like it. Amazing is it the way it responds? Every note takes the same amount of pressure, and it was an easy heart to set up. It wasn't one that you slaved over for hours. <coughs> the other thing he had to go at while, I, while, I, while he was over was um, I, I did do a video on this. This is the uh, MS heart with a pair of a um, Suzuki Blues Master replates in it, and he couldn't believe how loud it was. He said it's the loudest harmonica he's ever played now. I must admit, I didn't realise how loud it was until I heard somebody else playing it. You know, it's a situation where, you know, you want to hear what somebody else sounds like on it. But it, it is, it is a... Well, oh, get the right end. I mean, it is very, very loud. And what he's doing now, he's got loads of old harps he's been playing forever. He's tried just about everything. He's um he's sorting out his old MS uh, harps and we're going to stick some Suzuki plates in them. And in frustration, I mean, you think the guy's been playing 40 years, he's still searching for the perfect harp and what he's interested in now, the, either the Suzuki Firebreak or the Suzuki Hammond. But, you know, like a lot of pro players, they're still searching for that perfect harmonica. Um, he thought he might have found it with a marine band deluxe, but he didn't. But I'm, I'm going to rebuild these, and I've got this uh, this uh, herring to rebuild. God, it's got replates on it. That, well, they're so thick it's untrue. Um, but as you can see, all of the screws are out. <laughs> That's from new. Just amazing. Just amazing. But anyway, I'll come back when I've done those hearts and show you what they've come out like. Hona, get your act together. What is the matter with you? You know, a couple more screws and a splash of varnish and you'd have had a really good harmonica. We'll see what we can do with it. Speak to you.